We are rolling. So, oh, good. No heckling, unless you'd like to heckle, then you're welcome to. Okay. Um, I'm going to read a couple of poems from my book, uh, Zealand, which came out in the mid 90s. And it's my first and only hardbound book, <laughs> ever so notable for that reason. Um, the first poem I'm going to read from this, I remember writing, was a series, uh, it was a crazy um, assignment from Steve Orlin, who was our teacher um, back then, who recently passed, and who's much loved still. And he gave us this assignment to write five poems in one week, and that was, uh, I recall, an insane thing to uh, suggest. And I did do that. Uh, I remember writing the first three, as really struggling with the first three. They were hard, and I, you know, stayed up all night and worked on them. I worked on the fourth eh, for about a day before it was due, and then I had one fifth poem due. And I wrote that one in about ten minutes before Xeroxing it and handing it in with the other four. And I remember Steve saying, this one that was written in 10 minutes was the only good one in the batch. So it has survived, <laughs> thanks to Steve. And I'll read it for you now. It's called, The dog comes in from the rain while I'm screwing this guy in the ROTC. The best thing about having good eyesight is the knowledge that one day Upon waking up blind and despondent because of it, the odor of rain on Loretta's skunked fur and the squeak of bamboo stalks will still take you back, back, to a lover you had at 12, either at that age when your family lived by the choke plant or that hour that passed only moments ago with him who gauged to your ear his poor student sighs with the rainfall, to your slickening thighs, your shift in attention from love to the hamster's glass home, and not how many actual turds lie on the floor of the thing, but the way the shavings smell under their favorite moisture, and what the world looks like to them smells just the same to you. And you see your sister waiting. 